name's Mike G, and uh, welcome to the workshop. Uh, today's lovely guitar is um, a very classic design. Um, it looks very similar to uh, the guy from New Jersey's favorite uh, axe of choice, or is his ex favorite ex of. Anyways, um, <coughs> Bruce, Bruce. Anyways, so. Uh, we basically, uh, the, the customer wanted uh, one of our wood sheds uh, with the uh, butterscotch blonde finish. Um, this one, the, we like to use uh, the vintage butterscotch. Um, it's more yellow than uh, the more modern uh, orangish. Um, but anyways, um, <coughs> we started out with a uh, three-piece reclaimed uh, pine body. We have a uh, licensed maple uh, maple neck. Um, there's a little bit of bird's eye in this one. Uh, he wanted uh, vintage tuners on there, so we put the vintage style on there. Um, of course, uh, we've got the black dots on here. Um, and we didn't tint the neck to match the body, um, uh, because I've seen a lot of that lately. It kind of, it's kind of silly to me. Um, you want a butterscotch neck, or do you want, a, you want an accurate looking neck? Um, we've, of course, got a one-ply black pickguard on here. We've got a uh, set of, uh, of uh, uh, Telecaster pickups. We've got a uh, <coughs> Wilkinson Deluxe uh, ashtray bridge on here with the uh, compensated brass saddles. Down here underneath the hood, beep, we've got a, a, a Fender a CRL switch. We've got full-size alpha pots, and I put a, a jelly bean cap in here. Um, other than that, I mean, uh, we didn't really um, age this one. Um, the hardware is aged um, to a degree, but we didn't beat this up. Uh, she has a few nicks in her, um, a few scars from her previous life. Um, but that's about as far as it goes, and of course it has a uh, it has a, uh, a semi-gloss finish on it. So um, it's more of like a broken guitar versus a beat-up guitar. Um, uh, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna um, uh, run this thing through its paces through a GTD 15R amp. As you've heard before, it is a uh, solid state amp, and if it sounds really good on your cell phone or your laptop speakers, imagine how great it's gonna sound. <coughs> um, Imagine how great it's going to sound um, through a tube combo um, on the tour bus, on stage, in the studio. You know what I'm saying. Um, let's see. Uh, that said, um, we're going to do what we usually do on a tube pickup guitar. We're going to start out on the bridge. We're going to go to go to the neck. Then we're going to do the neck and the bridge together. I'm going to push the uh, clean channel just a little bit. Then I'm going to jump over to the gain channel. I'm going to show you its uh, tonal capabilities. Uh, for those of you who are expecting me to bust out some really crazy chicken picking or uh, some Bruce Springsteen style stuff, um, it's probably not going to happen, because um, <laughs> as many have pointed out in other videos, um, I really can't play. It hurts my feelings when people do that, but, um, you know, hey, what am I going to do, you know? I guess I could just quit building guitars and crawl under a rock and apologize to the universe for not being an amazing guitarist. Ah, screw that! So, here we go, we're going to stay on the bridge! Gonna rock this out. Here's Bridge Queen. Push this clean channel just a little bit.
the gain channel, I got the gain set up uh, at about 62%. That's just too silly. Okay, now next. something that's uh, pretty indicative of a lot of our guitars. Um, you know, we, we uh, set up every guitar here in the shop. We do uh, full fret level on the guitar. We do edges, so there's no sharp edges. The levels are, the levels are fretted. How about the frets are leveled? Um, and they're usually, uh, um, usually, they are always a joy to play. Now, when I ship something from Phoenix, Arizona to uh, Seattle, there's always a chance there not, might need to be a, a little bit of a setup, but 99.9% .9 of the time, pull it out of the box, tune it up, rock it out. Bang, bang, boom. <laughs> So, um, generally at this point is uh, when I uh, look straight at the camera and I say, thanks for watching. If you want a guitar built just like this, give me a call, 602-769-1131. I'd be more than happy to uh, hook you up with your very own Barncaster or any other style of guitar. Um, and then I usually follow that by saying, my name's Mike G, and I'm out.